What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade have a really interesting relationship that ultimately makes him look like a complete beta male. We've seen what happened with um, his son, who is now his daughter. I'll leave that alone for now, but we know that Gabrielle Union has something to do at least with the accepting of the young man's sexuality to become a girl. But we just also know that Dwayne Wade is just completely, uh, he, he's, he's just a weak man in that relationship. Uh, she's older than him. He's younger. He seems to be happy with it. But you know what? There was a time in 2013, there was problems there in the relationship. And that problem created an opportunity for Aja Matoyer or AJ Matoyer or whatever her name is. She is what most of these chicks are that deal with these basketball players. Um, I was some like a model, IG model, um, only fan sort of kind of model. There's nothing that she does. The only thing that she's known for is having a baby by Dwayne Wade. And of course, what many dumb athletes do is they get one of these ladies like this that can't do anything for them. At least Gabrielle Union will work. At least Gabrielle Union has a history of being somebody. This particular chick has a, has a, has a history of doing nothing. So you take one of these guys like Dwayne Wade, who's a dumb athlete, and then you go over there and then you get some whiskey and some Hennessy and some rum and, and, and a couple of Colt 45s. And booty clapping sounds. And next thing you know, you got babies and stuff coming. Give me some baby sound effects, Felix. You got kids coming out there and all this other stuff. Now, Aja or Asia Matoyer, she's been trying to throw shots here and there, talking about she can expose people. Like even recently, she's talking about that she's been wanting to wear this out for a minute. I swear, I mean, internet would be broken. She put this up on her, um, her IG story the other day. Because really, what is the truth? The, the truth is that Dwayne Wade said he was on a break from his wife at the time, or he was cheating on Gabrielle Union at the time when he had been. They were not married at the time then, but they were on a break. And, you know, Asia is trying to, she throws these little shots here and there. But what would break the internet? The reality is that you're bitter. Okay? That's the first thing. You're bitter. You are who we thought you were. A IG model, um, no no real talent. Nobody's really checking for you like that. The only thing that you ever did in your life was get pregnant by Dwayne Wade. That's what you are, okay? You're nothing more than that as far as accomplishments. You're not Gabrielle Union. As much as I don't like her, you're not her. You couldn't open the door for her, okay? You, you, you're nothing in comparison. But what is more important is you know, for a lot of successful guys out there, I don't care if it's athletes, athletics, or sports. Um, how do you give yourself the opportunity to get with people who can't do shit for you? Complete loser. You actually have unprotected sex with these people. Now, don't get me wrong. I've done it too. More than I ever want to admit it. I've been there and done that. But then what happens is that nothing good comes out of it. We can talk about, well, he has a child. He loves a child. Guess what? That child is never going to be able to be fully influenced by him because, number one, that's always going to be known as a child that you cheated on me with. So Gabrielle Union is going to have some sort of resentment towards the child in some way. And it just has to be like that. Just think about it. Your wife... You her get back together, all right? She's cheating on you. She has a kid with somebody else. You will you will have to feel some type of certain way about that child being there. That child represents something that's outside of the home that you tried to build. 
it would have to be the truth even if she doesn't hate the child it just would have to represent like oh this child represents the, the, a bad part in my life and here's the evidence that proves it so that child could never fully be in Dwayne Wade's house Dwayne Wade will never be able to influence that child as he has the others what you're going to be dealing with is that your child is going to be around a woman who probably isn't a great mother who you know that she's not a great mother you're paying thousands of dollars a month in child support and who knows who's over there with your kid when you're not there who knows you don't know you can't do anything about it so really what you're doing is you're dealing with somebody that had nothing to lose and that is the absolute standard that we're dealing with as black men it's what keeps us behind we deal with people that have nothing to lose then when they have nothing to lose then when they they destroy our lives we start to get mad about it like oh man why are they destroying everything we're doing because that's what they're supposed to do destroyers are supposed to destroy okay you have women out there who are women you can build in relationships with or at least they're smart enough not to destroy something then you have women who are nothing but decliners all that they do is decline that's what they're there for they're there they're there for nothing else and if you're dumb enough to feel that you're D or you have enough game to change that, you can't change that. At a certain level, if you get an opportunity to live amongst rich people, people with good integrity, people with high standards, you don't go back and dig in the dirt because you're not going to get nothing there. It's easier said than done, especially when the booty is free or it appears to be free especially when chicks are jockeying for your attention it's just hard to say no i get that but then look at what you're dealing with you're dealing with immaturity on every hand people throwing shots at you and your ex-wife because or your, your current wife because you didn't pick them and you're having to deal with this you know all kind of problems and a lot of a lot of black men got to understand that as you're getting more money and you're getting more opportunity everything got to change Neighborhoods change. Where you go to church may change. Okay? Where your kids go to school, change. Where you work out, change. Like now, I used to love 24 hour fitness. Got a little bit of money now. Guess what? I don't work out there no more. Not because I have a problem with 24 hour fitness or that I dislike 24 hour fitness, but the issue is that I'm in, I'm, 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 I'm in the new new crowd now. I need to be someplace that's a little bit more upscale. Maybe I'm at the country club now because there, those are the people that I want to be around now. Okay, there are certain places like in, in, as far as clubs, bars, free going to. Don't go to those. Sorry, ain't got time. Give me the highest city stuff. How much it costs to get in? Hundred bucks to get in? Cool, I'm going there. Why? Because I don't want to be around the foolishness. It's the same thing with your friends and your family. Everything got to change. But if black men don't understand that, you'll get to the place where you're making money and you're doing well and you're and you're back down dealing with the dusty of the world. You're dealing with you're dealing with dusty stuff. And you don't need to deal with it. Why deal with it when you don't have to? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.